Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to host your Discord bot for free using oriohost.com. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your web browser and type in oriohost.com. Then you're going to want to click on start for free. And then when once you're at this page, you're going to see the free tier which says zero euros a month. You're going to want to click on order now. Then you're going to be redirected to this login page. You can either sign up with your email and or authenticate with your Discord. So in this case, I'm going to be authenticating with my Discord. So I click on connect with Discord and then it will take you to this page where you can authorize your Discord account. And now you're at this page. So first of all, to deploy your first server, you're going to need to buy some resources. To earn credits, you make three credits per minute when keeping the panel page open. Or you can actually get more credits if you boost our server or if you donate one euro. So for example, if you do donate one euro, you're going to get a thousand credits. So you're going to click on store and then you're going to, as you see, I have zero resources on everything. 0% CPU, 0 kilobytes of RAM, 0 kilobytes of storage, 0, zero, uh, zero ports. I have nothing. So to create a server, you need resources. So you're going to click on buy resources. And then for this tutorial, I'm going to buy some CPU, memory, disk and ports. That's the bare minimum you need in a server. Backups and databases are extra, uh, are op optional. So you're going to click on uh, the CPU where it says purchase CPU. Uh, for 50% of CPU, it costs 250 credits. So I'm going to click on plus 50% CPU, which will add 50%, which is a, a 0.5 V cores. I want the full V cores, so I'm going to buy another CPU. Once it's at 100%, this is a V core. Then I'm going to buy 2 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to click it on two times. So I have 1 gigabyte of now. And now I'm going to buy another one. It's 2 gigabytes of RAM. And then I'm going to buy 2 gigabytes of disk. So I'm going to click on 1 gigabyte of disk. And another one. And I need a port too. So I'm going to click on plus one port. And click on continue. Alright. Now I have the bare minimum of what you need to, to host your Discord bot. So to actually deploy the server, you're going to want to scroll down and it, where it says ready to get started. And you're going to click on create a server. Then it will take you to this page. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to name the server. So I'm going to name this uh, tutorial bot number one. Server description, you can leave anything that you want. I'm just going to do a tutorial bot for Ori host. And then at the server CPU limit, you remember we bought 100 CPU. Uh, so as you see here, it's 100% of the CPU. So I'm going to use all of my specifications. So I'm going to use 100. I have two, two gigabytes of RAM, so I'm going to put in 2048. I have two gigabytes of storage, so I'm going to put 2048 and one allocation, so one port. Then we're going to select a node. We have um, we have five nodes. We have US01, three, four, five. Uh, so I'm going to deploy it on, hmm, I'm going to deploy it on 04 because it has the most slots. And I'm going to select a nest. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing uh, coding languages. And then I'm going to be selecting uh, Python. Or I'm just gonna select Node.js and click on create. Sorry, I have to put zero backups. Okay, now just click on create and just wait a bit until your server is gonna get created. So I'm just gonna click on create. All right, so it's gonna be running the installer. So from what you can see here, it's running the installer. It it should take about a few minutes, but in some cases it can be uh, faster. So I'm just gonna be pausing the video until the server is downloaded. All right, so I just got the email. It took about um, one or two minutes. So once you're in here, what you're gonna want to do is in the files, you can either upload through SFTP, which is gonna be your details here, or you can just drag and drop. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is just going to be uh, drag and dropping some files. So I'm just going to be right back. All right, so I just uploaded my files. So I'm going to be having index.js and package.json. So the boss is actually going to be really simple for the sake of this tutorial. So it's going to be printing out hello world three times. As you can see, it works. So that is how to upload your files at, in the panel. Next, what you're going to want to do if you want to change the Node.js version is you're going to want to go on to startup. As in the Docker image, you're going to want, you're going to see Node.js 23, 22, 21, all the way down to 17. And if you want to reinstall your server, you're going to want to click on reinstall server and yes, reinstall server. And the process will take about two minutes because it's reinstalling everything all over again. And if you want to renew your server, you're going to want to click on here, renew. 
and we're going to want to click on OK. So for example, I renewed it for 14 days. So I'm going to try and renew it one more time. 21 days. And 21 days is the absolute maximum you can have in the server. And please do not forget that if you do not renew your server uh, within the specified time frame, it will actually be deleted and we can and there's no way to get your files. So that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy our host.